Hey guys, welcome to another video, and this one I am doing my 10 Assassin's Creed characters that I would like to see in future games, well, possibilities, possible characters, basically, the ones that I think are possible in my opinion. But anyway, if you disagree, that's okay, just tell me down below. This is quite a lengthy video, so you don't have to watch through all of it, but please do comment down below what characters that you are known that you would like to see in future Assassin's Creed games, and that would be awesome, so enjoy the video. Demencio Alditore was the founder of the Alditore family, the architect of Villa Alditore in the town of Monteregioni. He is also the ancestor of both Clay, Cags Merrick, and Desmond Miles. Demencio was raised in Venice, Italy, subsequently becoming an apprentice sailor of the Adriatic based vessel when he was barely old enough to walk. He later carried cargo for his father's favourite. Uh, Marco Polo, who was also an assassin, trained as an assassin. One summer's afternoon, Demencio's patron called upon him. He arrived with his father and an old man dressed in a strange hooded cape. Also, there, Demencio's father revealed that he was an assassin, and such Demencio himself was destined to follow in his footsteps. The man in the hood, Dante Agliacci, became Demencio's mentor and to train him, and etc. Um, Demencio is the ancestor of Ezio who is the ancestor of both Clay and Desmond, 16 and Subject 17. So that's why I think he's a key ancestor and he would be a great character to have in Assassin's Creed. And he's the ancestor of Ezio. Ezioso was a descendant of Adewale, an assassin in the West Indies. So he was born in the French colony. No, he wasn't. He was born in Port-au-Prince. And he is a descendant of... Essayosa, this character would be interesting as it would be a very good character for bringing back Connor as well because he does come into contact with Connor in the early 19th century. This means that this character would be ideal for the return of Connor in Assassin's Creed in the future. This is why I think he would be a great character to have in the franchise and yeah. I think that this character would be ideal because Connor needs to come back. I would like to see another Connor game, but everyone would. We need closure to his story. That's why we need another Connor game, and Essayosa would be ideal for that because it wouldn't be a Connor game per se, but it would be reviving Connor's character as a side character as, well as a contrary to a main protagonist, and Essayosa would be a decent character to do so, as he is also a descendant of Adewale, who is also an assassin who is you could have played out as in the Freedom Cry DLC for AC4, which links into the game even more so. Giovanni Alditore was the father of Ezio Alditore, who we saw executed in Assassin's Creed 2. He could be an interesting character to play as, even though his story was uncovered in Assassin's Creed Lineage, there could be more to it, how he became an assassin and etc. We need, still need to see that, we still need to see the Alditore bloodline, but it would be quite interesting to see Giovanni in a game because he would really be inter interesting as Ezio's father and as we know that Ezio's father and Dementio as well, the descendant of Dementio. But he would be very interesting I think, but we don't know as of yet, but he would be quite an interesting character to play as for his lore and his tie-in, well for, with his ties to Ezio and uh, or other assassins, which is very interesting as he seems to be quite shrouded in mystery in Assassin's Creed 2, and I like to have that uncovered quite a bit, so yeah, that's why I think that Giovanni Alditore would be a good character. Hattori Hanzo was a vassal of Daimyo Tokuwagu Lesayu and an ninja trained in Koga. Aside from his ninja arts, Hanzo was also trained as a samurai, and his skill with the Yari was legendary. When the assassins caught wind of the Temple of Expansion into Japan, they sought to recruit new allies. Ninja such as Satori Hanzo were inducted into the Brotherhood, from whom the assassins in turn learned new skills and techniques. The assassins eventually formed an alliance with Leasu, and together they formed a plan to retrieve the Sword of Eden and aid Laseo in conquering the land. Hanzo worked closely with Shaya. Sorijo Kumblopio, weird name, who often acted as a contract of Le Leasu's path. Leasu even. In 1571, on Leasu's orders, blah blah blah, Hanzo assassinated the Daimyo Mori Matene, a strong opponent of Leasu's ally Odin Nabunga, in order to allow Nabunga to conquer Mori Shlan 
lands two years later after Tugawaga, the Ogre Forces, but blah 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 blah. But this character has a lot of information on his biography. He would definitely be quite interesting as a character. This is late 16th century, like after Ezio sort of thing, just after Ezio in Japan, ninjas. So late 16th century, it would be quite awesome as an assassin to be able to play as Hattori Hanzo. And it would be pretty sweet as well, and it would be a nice change. As well as the fact that he's a ninja and a samurai, and he's pretty sweet looking. He's pretty awesome, that's what I mean. So, yeah, that's another character who could actually make it into being that badass character that you want to play as in a future Assassin's Creed game. And it could be a character played in a future Assassin's Creed game as well. We'll have to see and find out, I guess. Pierre Belec was a French assassin who was also the mentor to Arno, the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Uni. He would be a decent character to play as, as there are, he could show the story before Arno, him and Charles, Charles Zorian, which will clear up the story, and how maybe some run-ins with Shay, and maybe how Charles Dorian seems to know Shay by saying, you, you're the traitor, when Shay kills Arno. That's why I think that, oh, oh sorry, when Shay kills Charles, that's why I think that um, there's some story to be had here. You could play as Pierre Belec or Charles Dorian. I'd choose Belec because Belec seems more interesting and Charles seems more bulk man. And this is why I think it would be interesting to explore that story and how Charles Dorian and Belec knew Shay because it's almost pretty certain that they did somehow, somewhere or another, because Charles Dorian says, You, you're the traitor. But yeah, that's about all I have on this character, but he would be pretty awesome to play as being Assassin's Creed to tie up some loose ends. Charles Dorian would also be pretty cool to play as, as he is the father of Arno, and he seems to know Shay somehow, because if you remember, he says, you, you're the traitor, and that's when Shay kills him, that's the words to him, one of his last words, is you, you're the traitor, so I believe that Charles Dorian would be a pretty interesting character to play as, as he does have some backstory, obviously, with Shay, and he obviously has um, some form of thing, and the end of Assassin's Creed Rogue was obviously a re an easter egg to that, because I remember Shay saying, I'm just clearing up old business or something like that, when he says, you're the traitor, so he seems to know Shay, he, somehow, somewhere along the line they've met before, so that's why I'm thinking that this could actually be an interesting character to play as. I want to see the running with Shay. Same reason for Balek, because Dorian and Balek went around together, I heard. But anyway, that sums up this character. He'd be pretty cool to play as in Assassin's Creed in the future somewhere, but that's about it. Robert Fitzwalter was a member of the English Brotherhood of Assassins responsible for starting a campaign to unite the English barons against the despotic King John. He was formerly an aristocrat and a soldier fighting for King John during the Wars of Normandy. This guy could actually be an Assassin's Creed character as he has only been mentioned in Assassin's Creed memories and he could be a future protagonist of the game. I mean, they're coming so far forward that they're only going to be able to go back. That's why most of these characters are b before AC Syndicate setting. So, this guy could actually be a decent character for Assassin's Creed. Now, not much is known about him. That's quite cool for now, so that means that he could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. Tell me what you think about this one, guys. And, yeah, I don't really know, but he would be a decent character as he's more knightly than he is assassin-like. And that would be a decent change, if, if, if you ask me. Because, yeah, it just sounds it. Toma de Carneon was a banker and a mentor of the French assassins in the late Middle Ages. So this is like 14th century, 13th century. We saw him make a cameo at the start of Assassin's Creed Unity, but that's about it. We didn't, we don't know much about him at all, but he could, in fact, be a future playable character in Assassin's Creed. Now I think this because he looks like he could bring the game back to its roots, like Arno, etc. And I also think that he would be quite cool, and I think that playing as him would actually make sense, as you'd find out how he found out what he did, and how he um, like assassinations and etc. And the start of Assassin's Creed Unity it might explain it a little bit more than Assassin's Creed Unity did itself, and that'll be pretty awesome, and I hope that Carnaon is a future character in Assassin's Creed. 
because of his involvement in the opening sequence of Assassin's Creed Unity because he could explain and tie up some loose ends there and that is definitely very much so needed and that is why I think that this character could actually be a future protagonist in the Assassin's Creed franchise but we'll have to wait and find out otherwise yeah nothing. William of Cassingham unknown to 1257 later known as Willikin of the Weald was an English master assassin and expert archer who fought for King John during the First Baron's War. As opposed to the Baron supported by Robert Fitzwalter and the English Brotherhood, rallying a guerrilla force against the English Barons and their ally Prince Louis VIII of France. William favoured John's authority to that of baronial rule despite objecting to his despotic approach. As a supporter of John's son Henry III, William saw this avenue as the lesser of the two evils. This character could be an AC protagonist, but I don't know if he's real or not, but if he isn't a real character and is made up by the Assassin's Creed universe, then he could in fact be a protagonist. Now I think this because it's quite interesting, there could be a 13th century Assassin's Creed, which would be pretty sweet, and he would probably be the character to play as in that time period. But... Anyway, without further ado, we are going to move on to the next character. Yusuf Tazim is well known for helping Ezio during the events of Assassin's Creed Revelations, but lest we forget, he too was an assassin, and a master assassin at that, and a really awesome character with a great sense of humour, and he was actually quite likeable in Revelations. As much as you wanted to punch him in the face, you also wanted to sort of help him. He is a very interesting character and he would indeed be a good character to play as in a future Assassin's Creed game, only if he wore his hood more often, but that's okay, that's not a problem. So I say this because Yusuf seems interesting as a character in Revelations and I would like to explore more of this character in the future. So this is just um, a slight speculation. but. I doubt this one above others on this list, but it would be very interesting and it is possible because he hasn't been fully explored in the lore of Assassin's Creed as of yet. So maybe there'll be something about him soon. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that list. Please comment down below what you think and thank you if you've watched through to this bit. I know it's been quite dull because it's quite late at night when I'm recording and I want to get this out as soon as possible because the idea was fresh in my mind and I want to be motivated. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment for more Assassin's Creed speculation and etc. And I will see you all in the next one. So etc. like that and please subscribe and like and I'll see you all soon. So thanks for it guys. So, uh...